what's up guys welcome back malik here and today we're going to be looking into my four trades on the nasdaq 100 today was a nice day yesterday you could see the bullish movement but it didn't close below the previous candles same thing with the candle from tuesday it didn't close be below the monday candle so i was looking for bias today and that turned out to be right based on the technical strategy right so I entered three trades, three of them were losers. Um, the market actually reversed today very violently, took out some stops. So when it took out some stops and was pushing down, I decided let me hit it to the upside now with a small risk because I believe, okay, we might continue up. That could have been just a pull on liquidity, which is actually happened to be. And then we actually still closed above the previous day is high so that's leading me to continue to think all right we might have more bullish plays if they wipe me out no that's fine because i would take a loss of maybe 20 to 30 dollars but as you can see i made 265 dollars on one trade today right so i'll be showing you all of these trades so let's get into it so the first trade i actually took i actually swung this one right so before what yesterday's market closed i entered a trade at 15388 because i believed all right i might be able to time this entry to catch it where the market might open again and then set my risk so that i don't get stopped all out and then if the market continued to rally i would be able to capitalize on that but it turned out that i got stopped out um i got i was have i had this trade running for the entire day but i got stopped out when the market made just a violent reversal and then when i checked my phone i saw that i was knocked out i was a little disappointed but i just looked at the charts and was very objective place one more trade if i was wrong on that i would have just not traded for the rest of the day so this initial trade was a loss of three dollars and 28 cents the second trade now and i had all of these positions running for the entire day basically so the next trade i entered at 14 3 8 4.18 and then i got stopped out similar to the previous candle i got stopped out at 15 3 6 4 point five four so right around there for a total loss of 982 and then the next one that I entered, you can see I'm entering all bullish trades today. I had a bullish bias, not deviating from the strategy, not trying to switch and go the other way. I'm just thinking maybe my entry was wrong. So I kind of kept that. And then when I got a nice entry, which was that huge bearish push, entered to the upside and then had my stop loss at you see it here at 15361 at a stop loss of 15340 yeah so that was a total risk of around 40 dollars 42 give or take so the second trade i lost a total of 36 on it and what happened here so i entered at 4 15400.94 which i believe was a good entry at the time and then I got stopped out just like the other candles at 15364. Just like the other trades at 15364 for a total loss of 36.2. So with this one, it reversed so much that it hit me out for a 36.2 loss that I didn't believe that would have happened to me, but it happened. So when it came down and pushed down down to that 15361 zone. We're at 15.361. I'm seeing the market kind of reject violently a bit at that level. And then that's where I took this trade with my stop loss at, as you can see, 15.340. You can see where all my other stop losses were as well. So I keep a stop loss on every trade. It doesn't matter. Just keep the stop loss, keep the stop loss. But I actually manually close the trades. So on this one, when the market reversed and came up after i entered this trade i closed it at 15494.71 because i was up at you see it's close it's literally the closing top of the candle 
and that was a profit of 265.46 and i made no other trades for the day it just went on i did a class i had to do and just did the other jobs that i was doing right so i was out of the day at that point i had recovered all of my losses and brought me back to positive around positive 100 or something like that so currently i have two trades going to the bullish side on the nasdaq 100 and let's see how they play out i can actually draw them up similar to what i did last night actually got hit out last night so it didn't the trades didn't make a lot of sense last night but it still played out the direction played out overall so i have one trade at 15 505 15 505 that's where i entered it's a 0 0.05 trade and then my stop loss is at 15.483. So let's, I can actually put it up right here. 15.483. So this is where I have my stop loss, just a little bit below the zone. And then this is actually a max risk of around $10. And then my second trade now, I have a trade that I entered at 15.497. So these trades are currently running right now. These are legitimate trades on this account. So at 15,497 I entered. And then my stop loss is at 15,485, which gives me a max risk of around $12, right? But I'm not trying to risk a lot just to make any type of money. You got to just keep the risk, keep the risk good so that if you end up being wrong or if the market knocks you out, it isn't as painful. I have a stop loss right there. So you can see with a stop loss at 15,485 and an entry at 15,497, my total risk is $12 on this trade. And then if we get a mover like today, that's a 200 pip mover, that can be a nice $200 for a risk of $12, right? So let's see how tomorrow plays out. There might be a storm where I'm living tomorrow, so. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully everything is safe and I'll see you in the next video. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video and you can extract some knowledge. You can actually see my strategy kind of getting better, kind of getting more fluid. And I really wanted to get to a level where I had a strategy done before the summer was over. And it seems like it's perfect timing and I'm happy that this is all coming to fruition. I'll see you in the next video tomorrow, all right? Bye-bye.